I was wondering, how do we make e-tutorial videos? We can make videos in many ways. A good video needs good planning and execution and of course creativity. You need good presentation skills as well. Okay. I can make good PowerPoint presentations. Can I make a video using PowerPoint? Yes. A simple PPT can be made into video using simple PowerPoint software which is a part of Office Suite. Office Suite is a set of programs for common productivity tasks including a word processing program, a spreadsheet tool, presentation software. Most popular is the Microsoft Office Suite but there are open source ones also like LibreOffice, OpenOffice. You need the Office Suite to do productivity tasks. Let us see how. So if you want to make a video using your powerpoint just open your powerpoint and go to slideshow once you're on the slideshow record the slideshow it will ask you from current slide or beginning let's start from the beginning so this is the interface which has come if i want to use my webcam and my photo then i'll just use this or if i don't want it then i'll just cross this and this is for the preview whether i like the whether how i'm looking on the screen so this is the preview this is the record button stop button replay and this is a highlighter and these are the various colors this is a pen a laser or an eraser all this can be used while you are making your presentation and making your video so let's start i'll have to click on the record button three two one countdown and then today we'll be talking about Swayam, the study webs of active learning of for young aspiring minds. For young aspiring minds and this is the logo of Swayam. So we'll go to the next slide and then I want to use the pen. Swayam is the content load is of the four credit course will be 40 videos and 40 SLMs. Its design is four quadrant design. The first quadrant is e tutorial, quadrant two is e content, quadrant three is discussion forum, and quadrant four is assessment. This is I'm using laser to highlight my point. And then the first quadrant is the video and audio content in an organized form. The animations, simulations, video demonstrations, virtual labs, along with the transcription of the video. So I have stopped that and then I'll just close this. Go to, if I'm okay with the positioning, I can do the repositioning also. So for example, I want to reposition myself this side. In the second one, I want to reposition because the content is hidden. Then the third one, discussion forum is not visible. So I'll try to reposition it here and maybe reduce the size also of my video in the fourth one i think this is fine so i'll just go to file and export and create a video the default settings are fine and then i'll just create a video let's let me do it on the desktop a mp4 video and i have saved it let me come to this so there's a video and we'll open it. So this is the video which is made. As a teacher, you can make high quality videos. Close this and share it with my learners. Good. Now I can use my PPT to create video. I can record my computer screen or any process to tell others. Yes, Path. We can record using many softwares like FreeCam, OBS. Also, there are some softwares available which have a free version and a paid version. For making small videos or short videos, we can use the free version which are equally effective. Like we can use Screencast-O-Matic, we can use Screencastify and there are many more. Even the virtual conferencing tool like Zoom can be used for recording simple videos with a simple presentation and a webcam. So if you want to record using Screencast-O-Matic, we'll go to Google and type Screencast-O-Matic, record for free. 
sign up is not essential for using but if you sign up then it becomes easier then launch free recorder if it is you are doing it for the first time you have to download it and install it and once you have installed it then it will open just like the way it opened for me so now i have this i can record only the screen this is the screen whatever is between this red and white border will be recorded then if i only want the webcam that is i just want to address my learners uh, and then i can use the webcam or the both where i'll be on one corner and this can be changed from this side also this is the webcam and as you can see the maximum limit for the free version is 15 minutes then the size is full screen right now and we are recording the narration computer audio is not available in the free version so this is the record button and this is the settings if we want some settings to be done we can do the settings the preferences so these are the preferences we'll leave it to default and then we'll use the webcam so i can also go from i'll start recording so today we'll be talking about the ppt i can switch from the full webcam to the then this is the ppt which i want to talk about and so the swayam study webs of active learning for young aspiring minds in the swayam the content load for the four credit courses, 40 videos of duration of half an hour and 40 SLM. It uses the four quadrant approach where quadrant one is the e-tutorial, quadrant two is e-content, quadrant three is a discussion forum where you interact with your peer group and quadrant four is the assessment, basically the form assessment for learning. Then quadrant one is the e-tutorial which contains video and audio content in an organized form animations simulations video demonstrations virtual lab they're all there and then also the transcription of the video so now we have recorded i'll just stop recording so if i want to see the preview so it will come as a preview and if it's okay then i'll just click on the done then save the, the edit video feature is in the paid version we are not using it so we are using this and there are four options which are available video we can save as video file we can save in their cloud upload to screencast-o-matic upload on your youtube direct upload or you can save on the google drive edit feature is not available as i said but if you want to add some background music then you can have some background music say for example i just want the acoustic music the best which is this one so it is importing the music and it will be in the background of my video so this is a video i'll save as a file because if i want to do something with it check it then only i'll upload on the youtube so the type will be mp4 file recording will be say i'll say just video and then folder will be the desktop or you can save it anywhere do you want to highlight the cursor if it is basically a lecture then you don't want if you are showing a process then highlight a cursor i'll say no cursor then i'll publish it so it was warning me because it was another file which was video so that is generally the computer alerts you so that you don't make mistakes so the video file is being um, published or sometimes it's called the rendering so it is being done and then it will ask you you can go to the browser uh, browse the folder or play video let me just show the video and you can see the background music so this also you can use for making small videos short videos for your learners so that they are able to understand what you are telling them and the learning becomes effective this can really empower a teacher to make teaching learning more effective mm. how are studio based education videos made good question part Studio based videos are made by teams, a team which includes a producer, a camera person, editors, subject matter experts, the teachers. In most of the educational videos, the teachers are also the presenters. So today we have 
discussed using simple softwares and applications to record short videos. When we meet next, we'll discuss how studio-based educational videos are made. Thank you and happy learning.